Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody had a good Wednesday. Um, welcome to the Epic Cooking Corner. And I promised I would come on. And um, I'm going to do a, a whole chicken in, in one of the magic pots. And actually, here's I'm showcasing all the magic pots from Epic here. I call them magic pots. Obviously, they have... Um, their own little name and function but I'll go through them real quick um, I'm doing a video so I can um, when I do the um, whole chicken in the multi-purpose steamer or the um, round steamer I haven't decided which one I'm doing it in because you could do it in either one but the chicken that I have usually you do uh, it'll cook a three pound whole chicken in the microwave in usually 20 minutes around 20 minutes 22 minutes in the microwave and of course you can use these all in the oven up to 450 degrees you can't use them in the broiler but my um, chickens a little bit larger um, than the three pound chicken I couldn't find so it's actually five pounds and five pounds point seven four ounces so this is the whole chicken and I wanted to show you okay this is what I'm going to cook in the microwave so I'm doing a present I'll do a presentation on it, uh, the video which I'm doing now um, to get it started and then I'm going to start cooking it in the microwave for um, some about 10 minutes and then I'll come on live in the middle of the cooking of the microwave and um, finish it up for you and show you how awesome and how magical the this cookware is from Epicure so let me go through the pots real quick this is the multi-purpose steamer my best friend actually all of them are my best friend but if I could recommend any steamer it would be this one the multi-purpose steamer comes with a tray in it and um, my favorite next you got the round steamer these are really good for soups chili um, some dips uh, beef stew chicken stew whatever so this is the round steamer it doesn't come with a um, tray in it but um, I use this one a lot this is my omelet maker which I can um, do an omelet and put whatever you want in it and um, actually you can do waffles in this um, small items like bacon if you want to do bacon just if it's a single serving or even a uh, two servings um, less than a minute and a half for an omelet this and then you got the rectangular steamer um, good for any protein really again good for a single serving um, if you're just cooking for yourself asparagus any vegetables um, popcorn and name it you can do it so if you have any questions about any of the um, magic pots let me know so let me um, we are going to use the rotisserie chicken um, by Epicure which I use I'm gonna put on the chicken it's gluten-free low sodium low uh, sugar um, you can see all the ingredients in the back and the serving size portion calories um, nutritional um, the thing about if you like very uh if you have a high tolerance and you use salt um epicure does this on purpose that it's low sodium for obviously for healthy reasons um um you know because we all a lot of the of us are very like to put a lot of salt on i'm not one i've never had problem with salt i'm a pepper person but um they put very low sodium not for just you know for medical reasons but um they want you to add your own salt for, you know if you want it a little bit saltier because um, you can always add salt to it but if you can't take salt away so that's why if it tastes bland to you go ahead and add your um, palate to the salt tasting put how much salt you ever you want on it okay so we're going to use a rotisserie chicken all right so let me put the steamers away I'm gonna get a rag and let me um let me check out my chicken real quick all right I want to see which one is going to fit better in the pan before I, um, so we're not going to use this if I do use a multi-purpose steamer. So again, it, this is uh, almost double the size of chicken I'm going to cook. So it's going to cook long, it's going to take longer. So there's the multi-purpose steamer you could do the chicken in. My lid doesn't actually go down, but that's okay because I've done it with a bigger chicken cook. And when I make this chicken, 
what I do is I make, um, I prep meals for the week to come and freeze um, my chicken. I'll, I'll shred it um, to make pulled chicken, uh, stew, chicken stew, chicken fried rice, butter chicken, any, any meal that use chicken. And then we got the round steamer. Let's see how this lid fits. This one doesn't fit either as far as closing it up because the chicken's too big. But you know what? I'm going to use the round steamer today to make my, um, to cook the chicken in the microwave. The only reason is since it's heavier and bigger, um, these uh, lips right here are a little bit more sturdier to take out of the microwave than this, um, than my multi-purpose steamer. So let's, let's cook it in the round steamer, okay? So we'll put that aside. All right, so let me take this off my chicken and we'll be, I'll be right back. 